Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And for those that you don't know me, my name's Diane and I am part of UK Disney Vlog. Uh, we're a family that love Disney adventures and sharing our UK time. And at the moment, I'm doing weekly vlogs in lockdown. So today is Sunday. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. I have finished at night, my run of nights, and had a bit of a sleep this morning. So starting the weekly vlog today. Bit of a random day to start it on a Sunday. So I think the idea was maybe we do weekend vlogs. We're just playing it by ear and see how it goes. So it is Sunday afternoon. It's 7th of February. About to have some lunch. Not really got quite sure what the day's got planned for us. Need to go and pick up some furniture from a man. Yeah, that's how random it is. There was an offer on Facebook for some free wicker furniture that I saw that I'm going to upcycle. So I need to go and pick that up. And by the time I've done that, <laughs> I feel like the day is going to be over. But let's see what's going to happen and we'll take you with us. Back from Aldi, put the shopping away. Just having a, can you guess it? A brew. That's right. Nice cup of tea. No coffee this time. And we're having the warm cookies that we had from... <laughs> oh yeah. Well, we're also having the warm cookies that we got from Costco the other week. If you'd seen my Costco vlog from a couple of weeks ago, we bought some cookies that you bake in the oven. Isn't it nice? Mm-hmm. They're really tasty. So, oh, let me get mine out. Look, delicious. I'm watching Uncle Buck. Classic film. I love John Candy. Classic, classic film. So it's many hours later. I've just not picked up the camera today. I'm just not feeling it. I don't know what's wrong with me, to be honest. I'm feeling just a bit sad. I suppose everyone goes through this. I don't know if I'm tired because I've finished my nights or I, I just don't know. Just don't feel quite myself. Um, we've had a roast dinner. We've watched a bit of um, How to Get Away with Murder. We have watched One Division, so we watched the latest episode of One Division. I've done the dishes, rubbish. But I've come back in and David has put this on the telly, and it's sunrise over Animal Kingdom. So that makes me smile. Definitely, definitely makes me smile. Sorry, I've not filmed a lot today, guys. Um, yeah, it's just been one of those days, and when you're feeling like that, yeah. I think we probably should have got out and got some fresh air, gone for a walk rather than having to go to Aldi and. Obviously we picked up the furniture and it, the day just disappears. So that's what it is. Um, got some exciting plans ahead. I'm gonna be having, um, me and the girls are gonna be having an 80s birthday party because it is my 40th very soon in two weeks. So we have planned to have an 80s Zoom party. So I need to get an outfit sorted for that. It's gonna be really exciting. Not as it should be, definitely not as it should be, but we are going to make the best of a bad situation. So I'm going to do some shopping online and see what I can get for that, which is going to be really great. As for the rest of my birthday, not quite sure what the family have got planned or what, what to do really. It's all a bit meh. We're hoping, I can't, I just love to be able to go out for a meal. Just want to be able to go out for a meal to a restaurant. So I think that's probably where it's all coming from. Just feeling a bit meh. Not, I'm, I'm not bothered about turning 40. But I feel like it's a rite of passage that I need to go through and have the big do's and stuff. But yeah, um, we have got other plans for our 40th, but next year. So that's what we're hoping for. Fingers crossed. Who knows what is happening currently at the minute and what the future lies and what the future holds, really. It's very philosophical for me, this at the minute. Um, the rest of the evening... It's bath time, it's chill out time. I'm gonna have a brew. Not sure what we're gonna watch, whether we're still gonna watch How to Get Away with Murder or just put something else on a little bit different. So that's about it. I did do something a bit naughty today. When I say a bit naughty, I've been, I've been going on too good to go again. Timo Sullivan, what have you started? So Costa Coffee came up and I was like, I wasn't sure what to do because obviously I saw my last coffee one and I was like, right, okay. I'm going to get it and see what it does. There might be more pastries. I won't mind another cheese toasty or any cheese butty. That's fine. It was only £3, so I have ordered another two, go to go, two good to go from Costa. Then I went on and found a patisserie shop um, 
probably about 15 minute drive from here. Um, so I got that as well. Oh my God. So I've got to go and pick up the Costa Coffee one at four o'clock. Then I'm going to pick this other one up at half past four tomorrow. So let's see what we get. Um, obviously I'll take you lot with us and I'll show you what I get. Um, we're going to just be so much for the dieting. Fabulous from 40, fit at 40. I'm going to be eating pastries and bread and everything else, but I, sometimes I just don't really care. So that's what I've got planned for tomorrow. Go for a run, homeschooling. I might nip to decathlon to drop some things back off because obviously decathlon is open with it being a sport sports shop um and for bikes and essential travel and things like that so it is open i need to go and drop some running gear off a harry and get a refund or an exchange it but me going into a, a sports shop is not a great idea i want to buy all the running stuff i'm a little bit addicted so that's some plans for tomorrow so I'm going to leave it here for today and I will see you in the morning. Night. Good morning. Happy Monday. Yes, I did it. I'm out running. Said I would be maybe not quite as early as I'd hoped. It's now about quarter to ten. Oh God, it's not easy this morning. Really, really not easy. A few snow flurries when I first started. Now I'm obviously warming up a bit. Probably about a mile and a half left to go. My legs are feeling stiff this morning. I think definitely thinking it's Monday. So I'm just gonna get on, get it finished, and get home. Let's get going. Can't mess with the app. Can't mess with Strava. Always got to start it and almost cancelled it. <laughs> if any runners out there will know, if it's not on the app, you didn't do it. Looks like it might be quite a nice day today, if not quite cold. Like I said, I keep having the occasional snow flurry. I got gloves on, I got hoods up, but I soon warm up. I get so hot when I run. Ooh, come on there. Many hours later, you'll have just seen Harry outside playing in the snow. It's lunchtime. I've got a nice cup of, not got a coffee, I've got a turmeric tea. Um, yeah, I've said it before, it looks a little bit strange, it smells a little bit strange, but it actually tastes really nice. Just needs to brew a little bit longer. I'm having my lunch for today's lunch. Ooh. I have got Noodle salad. So I've got some noodles, um, roast chicken, watermelon, spritz of balsamic vinegar, like a balsamic vinegar dressing that you just spritz on, like one calorie each spray or something like that, and some watermelon and yeah, sweet corn. I'm just gonna go and eat this. Um, like I said yesterday, I need to go to and get my two good to go parcels. One of them did cancel, the Costa Coffee one did cancel because obviously they haven't got any surplus stock today. So it cancelled and refunded last night. So I still need to go to the patisserie and go and collect that. Fingers crossed that doesn't cancel too. Um, not got many plans. I cleaned the kitchen once. Everybody's just had dinner. So it needs cleaning again. So a tad fed up. Sorry, my mood's not great this week, is it? In this week's vlog. But we're trying, still going forward. Still got loads of jobs to do. It's half one. And then sit down and enjoy my lunch. Watch a tiny bit of telly with the headphones on, obviously, because David's on a conference call. And then get on with this stuff. I just need to get on. Get motivated and get on with it. That's what I need to do. Catch you in a bit. Hello. So Harry and I are in, our, in the car. Yep. And we're going on our Monday, what seems to be our Monday adventure. Because yep. we're going on a too good to go hunt, aren't we? Yep. We're going to go to a, a shop which is about 10 15 minutes away from us. That's a patisserie shop. And we're seeing what we're going to get there, aren't we? Yeah. Let's hope there's not a ton of cheese and pickle sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. We don't want loads of cheese and pickles again, do we? No. Well, luckily, hopefully not. I think it's just a patisserie shop. I don't think they're selling sandwiches at this one. So, fingers crossed we get something good. Yep. Um, We'll obviously show you. I think we're a little bit early, 
might have a look at the other shops and there's a Morrison's next door I think or around the corner so I'll go there. I think Harry is currently filming the chair rather than filming me. <laughs> I'm not a good cameraman and my arm's aching. Oh we need to get those muscles working a bit. So okay. if you can't see me you'll be able to hear me. We'll catch you in a bit. Um, it's a couple of hours later, Harry and I are home. I will show you what we got shortly, but I'm going to have my dinner first and then David and I, and maybe the kids are going to try what we bought. It looks delicious though. I'm just about to have my dinner at uh, another Gusto recipe that David has lovingly prepared for me. I'm not taking the piss, honestly. No. So I have got, it's a Brazilian one pot dinner. Does it look the same? Bit of shine on that. Yeah, one pot Brazilian chicken and saffron rice. It looks delicious. Are you gonna eat it? No. No. So I'm gonna go and eat that. And then afterwards, we'll sit down with the brew and Dessert. Yeah. We are looking forward to it because one of them is my absolute favourite. Yes, I'm in my PJs and my dressing gown again and I really don't care. I want to show you now what we got from the patisserie. So this is what we got. How cute is this box, can we first say? So this little lot cost me three pounds. So I got a pastry in here, so a raisin, pano raisin in there, and then I got these. They look amazing. One second. Put that there. Let me show you in the box. Look at those. So this one here is a lemon meringue tart, and this one is a mango ghetto. Yeah, mango and lime ghetto. And David and I are going to share them. I want this one. How is it? So this is like the lime one. It's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, you not like it? It doesn't taste the lemon. So that's mango. I haven't tried that yet. And the other one's lemon. I don't have to describe it. I'm going to try the mango one first. It's like got some sort of biscuit base and it's a bit wobbly. Um, Blamongi, I think. It's like, and this is the lemon meringue. That I like. I love lemon meringue cake. Definitely worth three quid. I'll take that again. Good morning, you lovely lot. It is now just after six o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, it's still very dark outside. I'm heading to work. Um, back on day shifts again today. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I do quite like working nights. These early mornings, getting up at half five, are a killer. I think these bags under the eyes are getting worse. If anyone's got any recommendations for any great eye cream, muchly appreciated. For years I've barely put anything on my face other than simple moisturiser. Very close to hitting 40. <sighs> yeah, I think I need to start looking after myself and inv investing in those expensive creams. Or is it just a bit of cucumber on my face? David suggested hemorrhoid cream. I'm not quite sure how I feel about hemorrhoid cream. Well, you never know, probably works the same. So I've got um, three long days ahead of me this week. So I'm in today, tomorrow, which is today's Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday. Look, I've no idea what day of the week is, let alone when I'm working. I think I'm off this weekend. Let me check. Yeah, off this weekend. I'm supposed to be getting my hair cut on Saturday. That's not happening. I forward planned for once. I don't ever forward plan. Last time I went to the, the hairdresser, I was like, right, book me in. It's my birthday coming up. Let's get it done. Yeah, that's not happened. And on 
Sunday, David and I were supposed to go into our afternoon tea that was rescheduled from the Vlogmas episode. Yep, that's not happening either. Tried to reschedule it again for March. Who knows if that'll happen or not, I don't know. So we're just getting my lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner, food, snacks ready for work. Um, probably won't be filming much else today because I don't finish till eight o'clock. Long day ahead of me, which is fine. Once I get there, I know I'll wake up and be absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, obviously last night you, fin you saw us finishing off our, well, trying that dessert. It wasn't great to be honest. I'm not sure I'll be rushing back to the French patisserie to get any more of their desserts. The lemon tart was okay and I, I really love lemon meringue pie, but I didn't want the second half. David certainly didn't. And the mousse thing, yeah, it was just odd. Not a massive custardy fan um, like that. Anyway, I love custard, just not like that solid type of custard or blancmange or whatever it was. We ended up throwing them away because to me, it's total wasted calories. I'd much rather have had squares of a block of chocolate than finish them off, which is not great. So I ended up eating my lemon meringue. We ended up throwing the rest away. So for three quid, not too bad, I suppose. But you've got to enjoy it, haven't you? I'm definitely a trier. I'm going to try and see if I like any more, see what happens. This is not the end of it, too good to go. It's just not the end. I'm going to continue. So I will leave you there. I need to get going to work. Absolutely need to get going to work. Sorry, it's a clock over there. And I will see you lovely lot tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm in my position, stood in front of the stove, making my porridge in a fitness top. Just been out for a run, hence the gorgeous glowing look. Not. I uh, went out for a nice 10k actually, did nice six miles. Gutted and beat my 10k in time, but I did still get it under, sorry, did still get it under an hour, which is amazing. You don't, I don't need to bore you. Sorry, let me switch the stove off before I get burnt. Um, I don't need to bore you with the, the details of that. I'm just gonna have my porridge and my coffee, get dressed, and then I'll fill you in on the rest of the day. So I am dressed, had a shower, done my hair. I even put some lippy on. It's an experiment. I'm doing an 80s party for my birthday because I'm a child of the 80s and it is my 40th after all. So the girls have suggested we do an 80s party. I probably think I might have mentioned it anyway. So I need some makeup, I need some lipstick, I need some accessories. So I just found this. Oh, is it quite 80s? Got a bit of an 80s vibe. I've also got some kind of purple one upstairs as well. So I'll have a look at that. I'll try that a different day. Gusto has just arrived. Um, I'm just gonna unpack that. I'll show you what we've got. So the Gusto meals have arrived. I ordered four this week rather than three. I've got this one, which is an oven baked Normandy chicken and apple, apple casserole. Hoping David's gonna eat that one with me. We have got a Lean In 15 recipe. So cheesy pizza topped chicken with mixed salad. Um, some a pasta dish. So an oven baked spicy prawn arabetta for Farley. And then a one pot Turkish style lamb pilaf so i'm looking forward to all of these the last two weeks i have opted they gave us um a free gift we got some chocolate last week and the week, previous week we got a spoon but look this is quite exciting all great ingredients looks quite fresh some nice bread rolls for the casserole no all looking great and then this is the freezer section here which is really quite cool. So there, this is the whole section. All great. And then expiry dates are not amazing. So that's the 13th of Feb. And today is the 10th. So that's three days on that one. This one's the 14th of Feb. And the chicken's the 15th. So not massive dates on them. And that chicken is the 15th as well. So really looking forward to those meals. Like I said, not massive dates on them. I really need to make sure I've eaten them all in time. But then again, it's a week. You get them weekly, you eat them, and then you get the next box the week after. 
It is the last one we have received. Um, I just don't plan enough and then end up going shopping and buying other stuff. And um, yeah, so that's what that is. I'm going to make myself some lunch now. Harry's got 39 seconds on his sausage roll, so that'll be coming out now. I love the Iceland range. I've heard David and Ian talk about it and the Spickable Three. Who doesn't love Iceland? And yes, David and Ian, it is all frozen. If you go in, in store, you can bag a few things that aren't frozen, but generally all their meals are frozen. Um, but I do love the Greg's range, well, the kids and David do anyway. I don't tend to eat a lot of them. Um, I'm going to make my lunch. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to have yet, but let's have a smooch in the fridge. So I just had a quick dinner. Um, it's probably about three o'clock in the afternoon now, but I just wanted to show you something that we got this week. So Sean and Caroline and King Dave from See Sean Vlog sent us a lovely gift. They sent us a giant box that we weren't expecting full of awesome things inside of it. One of them is this hat that Harry's wearing. You like it? Yeah. He do, really loves that hat. And then just a couple of other things, I just want to show you this really cool Wookiee water bottle. So I think Harry's gonna take that one as well. Um, great notebook, which David's gonna use for work with Darth Vader on it, we love this. A couple of Seashell Vlog badges. One of the things that I love the most, I'll show it you now. If you've seen C Seashell Vlogs, one of these videos, these vlogs, you'll have seen this before, but I think it's awesome. So it is a lunchbox, a Back to the Future lunchbox with a flux capacitor on it, which is awesome. The kids have no clue what this is, but the best thing is that they love are, if I can open it, and I can't, there we go, all the treats inside. So it's a bit lighter than it was when it, when it first arrived, but look at these. How awesome are these? I have not seen animal bars for years. The kids have no clue what they are. So thank you again. Yeah, yeah. big thanks. We love them. Thank you. Thank um, you. I'm just going to head out. I, I've got two, two good to go parcels to pick up. David thinks I'm addicted. I'm determined to get a decent one. So a deli popped up and Costa. So I'm just gonna go out and get them and see what treats we can get this time fingers crossed they're good both only three pound but yeah can't can't complain for that so i'm gonna go and find out what i'm getting just on my way to pick up my first two good to go order i've just been to tesco's and i bought some it's an interesting shop but i'll give you that one that one um i bought some treats for me and the girls for my 80th birthday party yeah i can't wait to show you when i get it home. Sorry, the sky's looking really black on one side and really blue on the other. And then there's a flock of birds like swirling around the sky like a vortex. It's really strange. So I am just chilling out and rocking out to some 80s tunes, getting that my vibe on. What's your favourite 80s song? I think this has to be mine. I think people in the cars around me are like, what on earth is that girl doing? So I'm just gonna go to head to Costa Coffee. Um, I'm gonna park up in the car park just here. Oh, I'm probably gonna go out of the space outside, never mind. The walk will do me good. I might even pick up a cheeky coffee while I'm there as my two good so I'll go order. I want to say shh, don't tell David, but he edits the vlogs, so he's gonna know what I'm doing. He's having a coffee at home. I'm the one running around, like going to the shops. Right, just gonna park and then go and see what I get. What's the what's the betting? A cheese toasty and a panini, something like that. That's what I'm reckoning. Let's go find out. My Costa Coffee Too Good To Go purchase. Um, while I was in there, I did get a coffee because I felt, yeah, I kind of feel a bit cheeky, but then again, I'm paying for it. I'm not picking up anything free, I am paying for it. But I did get a coffee in the end. Um, bearing in mind my coffee was £2.80. It didn't do too badly out with me. Um, just a nice flat white, nothing else. It's a bit milkier than I expected. I know flat white, I don't, I'm not massive 
on, up on my coffees. I think Americano with milk would have been the perfect option for me, which I should know that from McDonald's, but I panic. Does anybody else panic when they go into a coffee shop and see all the options of what to have? Go, uh, um, uh, I don't know, I just want a coffee. I just want a coffee. So the bags were already pre-done when I got there. So obviously there's a couple of people picking up um, Costa's Too Good To Go orders, which is really good. Because I suppose all this stuff probably would have been thrown away and they are still making money out of it and it's the food's not going to waste, which is fabulous. And that's the whole point of the app. It's so food doesn't go to waste and people are getting a bargain. And I think it obviously depends when you go. I mean, there's no cakes today, which is a bit rubbish. The kids will be very disappointed that there are no cakes, but there are three sandwiches. So three sandwiches for three pound, not bad. And David got it right. He said they were breakfast sandwiches and they are. So there's one sausage, one bacon, and then there's a ham and cheese toasty again. So I don't think that's too bad. I think David will have the sausage one tomorrow and maybe the ham and cheese one for his lunch. If he doesn't eat it, then I will have it for my dinner when I get home from work. So I don't think that it's really that bad altogether. I'm trying to decide which way to go. And the sun is blinding. Um, so I think it's a good idea. There's not as many options available as when David first started looking. And I should have got into the app then. But obviously there's no, no restaurants open. There's not many places selling food at the minute apart from takeaways and when the restaurants and pubs are open they do sell a lot more on the app. Um, I think it's a great scheme to get behind and I'm a bit addicted. I won't be going mad and going in again though. I don't think I'll, I won't be going back to Costa in a rush and I won't go back to the tea room in a rush. This next one, let's see what it brings. There's a couple more that I want to try. I'm desperate to try a Morrison's one but they don't seem to come very often um, and also there is the spa so um, as in not a chilling out spa but the spa shop so it'd be interesting to see what they do I've noticed that a few places on there which I think must be like I won't say food bins but they're not food bins they're like charity ones that um, I can't even think what they're called Basically, they're sell getting groceries um, for people that can't afford them um, and they're, they're selling them for a couple of quid maybe when they've got stuff left over that they can't use for that day. So they are selling them and probably hopefully puts it back into the charity again. But I've seen a few of them pop up, so I've left them. But the spa will be quite interesting. And now Greg's. Greg's is one I'm trying to bag. There are lots of Greg's available in the city centre. There's a couple, quite a lot of Greg's stores around here, so I don't know why we haven't found any yet, but unless I've just missed the offers, so I'm desperate to bag one of them, and that is my next one. So Greg's and the Spa are the only two that I really want to get around here, and there's also a burrito restaurant. Now that came up loads when I first joined the app, not anymore. But it doesn't matter. On to my ne next one. Now this is a little deli shop around the corner from me. It's a place I have never been to before. Um, having looked on their website yesterday after I like secured the order, it looks really nice. Um, maybe it's a place that I might go to in future. So if this has encouraged me to shop somewhere else and shop somewhere local, that's always a good thing. Not sure what I'll get from here. It could be pots of pasta. It could be some bread. Yeah. Let's find out. Um, I'm a little bit early for my appointment. My appointment, my slot, my pickup time. Um, I'm going to finish my coffee off and pick it up. It's not until 15 minutes. I could have done a bit more shopping somewhere else, but I'll just sit in the car, browse my phone, and then go in when it's time. Back from the shops now. <laughs> oh, that wasn't that was fun. It was a lovely guy, and it was a lovely shop. But it it was a Jewish deli. Some of the food in that, some of the food in there was just a little bit strange for my palate. Never mind this lot. But the food we've got is actually lovely. So yeah, no complaints here at all. Let me show you what I got from Costa Coffee first. Here we go. So it was all like I said, already pre-prepared. The cherries did not come from anywhere apart from Tesco. So we have got a smoked bat 
bacon, smoked bacon. We have got a Wiltshire ham and mature cheddar toasty. And then we have got pork sausage bap. Not quite sure how they cook these in Costa, but we'll figure that one out. And then from the deli, this is what we got. So some great stuff, to be honest. He gave us loads of bagels, all fresh. Different consistency to the ones you buy in the shops, but that's because they're all fresh bagels. Got some lovely potato salad, so that looks lovely. Another pot of potato salad. Some carrot and apple and strawberry salad. That looks yummy as well. And then some cherry tomato salad. And two giant tubs of cream cheese. I mean, considering it's supposed to be going at like best before dates or use by dates, according to this, that's a hell of a lot of cream cheese, I suppose for all the bagels. And then this, we got a loaf of bread, a loaf of fresh bread, seeded by the looks of it. So that looks really yummy too. So not a bad lot for three quid. Obviously they've all got use by dates on them, but I'm assuming It'll be good for another couple of days, really. I think that's why they just get rid of them. They're not out of date, but I mean, bread. You eat it till it's mouldy, right? Nobody throws it away, apart from David. And it goes off at midnight, surely? I eat it till it's mouldy. And even then I take a slice out and then don't tell them the top one had a bit of green stuff on. They know now, don't they? Anyway, Emily and I have tried a couple of these bagels. How we haven't actually toasted them, but they're so tasty. They're really nice. And with the cream cheese, which I've tried, it's full fat cream cheese. That is really, really nice. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing with all these bread products. Just have to eat them. Now this is a complete show and tell for my birthday. This, I got some baby sham for me and my friends, got one each. I got some Malibu and Coke, because that's probably what apparently we drank in the 80s. Well, I didn't, because I was a, only a kid. But I did eat some rainbow drops, some refreshers, and a wham bar. Hoping to pick up some more goodies. Can anybody think of any retro sweets, retro food yet, retro drinks? Leave a comment down below if you can. Um, and I'll add that to my friend's goodie bags that I'm gonna drop off for my birthday party. Yeah, it's going to be a good night. I have never in my life drunk baby sham. I can just imagine it sweet, sickly, fizzy, awful wine. Now, I was partial to a Malibu and Coke back in the day when I first started drinking, I suppose. So that's going to be different as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that and I can't wait. I just need to plan my outfit now and my makeup. I think this is where I'm going to leave today's vlog. All I'm going to be doing tonight is the usual nighttime routine, cooking dinner, having a bath, having a brew, going to bed before work because I am on two long days the rest of the week. So this is where I'm going to leave you gorgeous lot. Thank you for watching another weekly vlog. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Um, leave all your comments down below. I really appreciate anyone that's commenting back and watching us. It's been amazing. Also, can I just say before I finish, thank you to everyone that has been subscribing to the channel. As this vlog is filming right now and I'm finishing it, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and I can't quite believe it. Fingers crossed it won't be long until we get to a thousand. I know it's not all about the numbers, but when you get that close to that thing that everyone reaches for, I just want it. <laughs> I do, not gonna lie. Just want to get to that thousand subscriber mark so not too long to go a few more subscribers fingers crossed it won't be very long so thanks for watching guys um have a good week take care everyone bye